Now we're onto the glass court. Camille will be kicking off against Colleen Omar in an all French ladies match, which will be a real treat. And then yeah, Camille Serm, so experienced, as you say, Joey. She's uh, one of the few Europe European women over the last sort of and five years that's been able three. to get uh, some wins here and there against uh, the likes of Shabini and Walili. Oh. Physically, mentally, she's uh, extremely determined. Sometimes I've seen her get a little bit nervous, but she looks fine today. Nothing to lose. She can just leave it all on the court. It's a nice shot. Good. There's that backhand starting to work on the volley for Sir. Just rolls the wrists over. It's quite unorthodox. But she's grooved it really well over the years. It's a lovely shot. Lovely shot. A little bit loose, of course, there from Amar. But she delayed it well here, Sir. Yeah, I do think Amar has to kind of speculate at times with a bit of variation because I don't think she's going to win just up and down the walls. It's well played. Good squeeze, as we say in squash six. terminology. Game to Sam. Very Sam effective ball to wall. Love. Forehand volley to finish off Camisa. So setting the standard for the rest of the evening, 11 minutes the first game, Serm leading one game to love. Serm's got such a good defensive game. One thing she can't say is that she doesn't know her opponent in terms of <laughs> what she's going to do. That just came out of nowhere. Wow, that was a Panther strike, wasn't it? Too I was well. just going to say it's the perfect name for her, really, Joey. You've done a lot of good nicknames over the years, but... Uh, she just just pounce. Look at this movement. <laughs> She's very, very sharp. Very sharp. Eight to three. The low kill I was talking about earlier. Do it on either side. Hand out for eight. That's a lovely shot. Number three in the world, can we say? Um, out. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. See the uh, amiability. Very, very good friends, teammates. Both of these players, extremely hard workers, very, very determined players. <laughs> Emily Whitlock will be keen to avenge the loss from last year's final. Wow. And yeah, she's got to get on the move. Naila Gillis, best of three format. Oh my God, that's a great shot from behind either. herself. Yeah, so confident. Nine at three. She's uh, marching along here, Emily Whitlock. Very, very focused in this first game. Commentating on her at uh, the Manchester Open. Back end of the 2018-19 season. She was on very good form there. Out. She really did uh, three, give Go a hard Whitlock. time. Whitlock needs one so a very good summer for Whitlock. Marches off court. There goes a the father. Hard nose Phil. And Naila Gillis, I presume, will be... Uh, Getting words from Paul Carl. Let's look at the eagerness, though, still from, from Whitlock. She's really hungry 
around the middle of the court, around that short line, to either take the ball on the volley, like in that position, or on the half volley. It's good solid hitting as well. Yeah, it is. It's coming back though. It's a great rally. Really physical. Wrong footer, but Whitlock managing to change direction. That was a tremendous rally, best rally we've had in this match so far. Very physical, which will suit Daily Gillis. She's got to start to get motoring, though. Yeah, it's more purposeful, isn't it? More accurate. And it's, uh, she knows what she's doing a bit more. More of an attacking in terms of the target, yeah. Read it. Good strength. Great width from Whitlock, <laughs> but got with ease <laughs> it's really, by Gillis. It's brilliant to watch this. It's got everything. Both of them using all that front wall. Oh. That was unlucky. Mm. That was unlucky. I mean, she was ambitious, but certainly strong and balanced on the ball. I think it was on. I mean, you might be slightly ambitious, but it's definitely on this well, shot. I mean, it was, you know, she's. It's a variation on the volley. You say it's changed. <laughs> yeah, there's no muscle there now. Five, eight. She's not uh, so much on the back foot anymore like she was in the first. Yeah, it's well played. Yeah, Top stuff five. between these two girls. Really, very exciting one. match. Gillis settles into this. 20 minutes so far, but a very high tempo. I mean, she's just so busy. It's paying off, isn't it? Yeah, she's busy with that added pressure of hitting that she's got now. It's kind of unrelenting. And that is a great shot. She said it was it was down. Let's have a look. Was and that looks up to me. That was good. It's a great pick up. Just in a fight from the neck. Oh, what a rally. These girls are working so hard, Joey. They were. I mean, they are. I mean, we have Whitlock dominate the first, Gillis dominate the second. Now we're into parity. She's got it back. Scoring around the court here. She's still in the rally, Whitlock. Wow, this is impressive. Oh, wow. She produced that. I mean, that's outrageous. Wow. After all that scurrying around, that's she was... outrageous. It's a great shot. Not the favourite to win this rally. Not Emily Look Lock. at that. Good balance, though. Really good balance off the left leg, the so-called unorthodox leg. I'll tell you what, Parky. Those skin-coloured tights are obviously working <laughs> for her. They're helping her move around. Oh, wow. Oh, she got a lucky bounce. Yeah, and she deserved that third game, Emily Whitlock. So, Emily Whitlock gets her revenge from last year. Terrific match between these two ladies. <laughs> Terrific match. <laughs> Lady Gillis will be very, very upset, but... The improvement from both these girls is uh, being quite huge, you can tell that. It's obvious.